it's Haley and I'm back with another video so in this video um, I have a huge haul for you I have a thrift store haul and then I actually ordered some books online <clears throat> after um, this video I'm just waiting on a scrap fabric order that I ordered a couple weeks ago there was a problem it's getting fixed whatever um, and the lady actually said she shipped it tonight so it will be here in a couple days and I will do that video separately <clears throat> so I want to go through and show you I'll show you the books that I ordered online first I am so excited okay so this book is probably the one that I am most excited about um, it is called Janet Marsh's Nature Diary and um, I know it's very popular you can check on YouTube um, Edith Holden her diaries and books are very popular I also got something from her I'll show you later but this is um, a similar idea but it's got a different kind of design and feel and I was super excited to find this this was the most expensive book I got and it was $12.98 which for me is like nutso um, I ordered all of these I placed two orders and they came from different places but anyway about it was also about two weeks ago anyway so the front of it I'm sure this had a dust cover on it at one point but yes um, this has large nice white paper and it is full of her images watercolors and drawings um, the only difference is that this book does not have her actual handwriting in it. But um, the papers, like I said, are white instead of that um, cream like the Edith Holden books. So if you're wanting like a more bright feel, this book is perfect. There's some of the fall ones. I'm not going to go through the whole book, obviously, but I just wanted to show you. This is a, also a very cool book, and if you like the Edith Holden style and you just, you know, can't find it, can't get a hold of it, or whatever, this is a really nice option as well. And, yeah. So, I got this. Then, like I said, I did get an Edith Holden book. I got two, actually. First, let's see. Okay, it was in a bag because... I've actually already taken this one apart, but anyway, this is The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, and I believe this is the first journal book, yeah. There's this, and then there's like nature notes, so yeah, this is the first one. And I was careful, and none of the pages are ripped, and so it went pretty well, and I, I mean, the cover isn't even like super weak, so I can still use all of it <clears throat> there are some double page spreads and those when I took them out I um, tried to keep the papers together obviously so anyway um, I'm not going to go through the whole book because if you like this style um, there are many 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 videos on Edith Holden books because they're really popular in junk journaling the other Edith Holden book I got is The Edwardian Lady. Oh, I got this for like $9.30 something, and I got this for like $3.79 or $3.89. This is a hardback book. And this um, is like her biography. I cannot wait. Oh, this cover is going to be so, so, so awesome for like my ultimate favorite perfect junk journal. Anyway, um, this has not only a lot of her um, other artwork and imagery, but it has, <clears throat> like, postcards and poems and things that she wrote to people. There are um, drawings, images of things that her parents um, did. And so, yeah, anyway, there's just a lot of different cool things in here. See, these are cards she sent to people. Um, I guess that she had a postcard produced for the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. 
I mean, this woman like has my heart. Super awesome. And it's also just, you know, a biography of everything about her life. Um, a drawing of Edith by Miss Anne Tratton or Trathen. She ran a post office from the family's cottage with the help of her two daughters. Annie Hoosel. Evelyn Holden. Was that probably her sister? Anyway, they also have some images from the books, from her diaries, and things in here as well. So, if you couldn't get one of the diaries, this is also a great option if you're, like, just really into Edith Holden or whatever. Anyway, so I think that one was like the third most expensive that I got. Okay, and the other expensive book is this one. Ugh. And this is, this was like $10.50. And the rest of the books I got were around $5, $4. Like I said, I went a little crazy a couple weeks ago but I hadn't spent any I had saved up a lot of you know extra fun money and hadn't spent money in a long time but yeah anyway <clears throat> so this book does have some issues um, on the like place if there was more options or more like um, conditions of the same book I always chose the lesser if that makes sense, the least con the least good condition or the worst condition, um, just because, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me, and usually not always, but usually they were cheaper, obviously, um, and this I wrote down oh copyright nineteen sixty, <clears throat> so anyway, it is mostly black and white but there is also some color photos as you saw um, the color images are <clears throat> um, glossy which I'm not a huge fan of you know glossy pages and stuff in my junk journals but you can use <clears throat> who did a video on this I can't remember the woman's name, but if you Google it, or I'm sorry, put it in the YouTube terms, she's the top thing that pops up. And I think I looked on Pinterest as well, and that's where I originally found the video, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, if you use the spray adhesive just to, you know, spray over it, it will dry down matte. And obviously you can't stick anything to it until it dries, or that will be messed up, but yeah. So anyway, a spray adhesive. And I actually have some of that already, so it'll be perfect. So I am very happy with this book. The only like trouble with buying books online is you can't look through them. Like, would I have spent $10 on this? Yeah, absolutely not. I really like the book, but I wouldn't have paid that much for it. Pardon me, sir. Jeez. <clears throat> All right, this is my favorite plant book that I got. And this one I also took apart because the spine was broken anyway. Um, the copyright date of this is 1972. And every single page has um, a an image on it on one side. This book is amazing. Tons and tons and tons, just full of herbal imagery and again this one was either 379 or 389 really good deal <clears throat> and then this one was also pretty cheap I want to say this one was like uh, around between five and six dollars it is the illustrated encyclopedia of American birds and I think this was from the 40s or 50s. The most current date is 1947. <clears throat> and it is bird perfection. See, these aren't super shiny either. It's, again, mostly black and white with pops of colored imagery. This, oh, I hadn't seen this. Looks like almost like a comic book. 
this book was a steal. Definitely keeping it. Okay, and now the last two, and these I might sell. I haven't decided yet. But, whoops. <clears throat> oh, wait, there is three. I knew there was an extra one. I got this Thoreau's Method a handbook for nature study, and it is a another really cool, like, nature diary, but there is not a ton of... Um, there's no like hand-drawn images or things like that, but there's still a lot of um, pen drawings and things like that, and it's nice vintagey paper, but yeah, so I got this one, and <clears throat> when I was looking for Edith Holden books, this was recommended as an alternative, and so I think I ended up spending like around $7 for it, which, I mean, I don't know. You know how cheap I am. <laughs> I like I like it, and if I hadn't found the Edith Holden books, definitely would have been fine with that. Okay, then I got this. Um, the Complete Illustrated Holistic Herbal, A Safe and Practical Guide to Making and Using Herbal Remedies. Now, this, <clears throat> the images in here are glossy. The pages aren't super glossy, but the images are. But they're amazing. And really, really, really nice, clear images. If you don't do a whole lot of grungy junk journaling, this book will be, you know, your fave. And I do really like this book. So, oh, look at that page. Oh, won't this be so cool to fussy cut out? Anyway, oh, and I wanted to let you guys know, um, I am, you guys know I'm working on the book for Gammy and the Bobcat book for my dad, and I'm also, I think, I can't decide if I'm going to wait till Mother's Day, or I'm sorry, my mom's birthday, which is in July, but anyway, once I get those done as, like, my background projects, um, I might do it sooner, but definitely by the time I get those done, I am going to have all of my books gone through, totally weigh the cons, okay, do you really, really need this? I know it's awesome, but do you need this? <laughs> and um, I will put them up in my Etsy, but I will bring them to YouTube as, you know, if for you guys, <clears throat> if you want to purchase them, give you dibs on them. If not, I can put them on my Etsy. But anyway, then I got this book, which is The Illustrated Bird, which is also a very cool book. And each page has like a black and white image of the type of bird and then like an actual large art piece of the bird and sometimes on this side it is in itself another piece of art so really really cool book um i thought this one would actually be more like <clears throat> the like herbal one but that's okay <clears throat> Ooh, look at that either way it's like, I want to, obviously I want to keep all of them and everything I've ever got at the thrift store, but I need, I can't, I can't, I have to be good. And anyway, those are all of the books that I ordered online. Now for the thrift haul, and I'm going to start with linens and firstly linens that I'm just going to keep for my bed. <clears throat> um, boring um i just grabbed these two because they were a nice neutral color pillowcases they're king size pillowcases so there's a lot of fabric for 50 cents and um i may just keep them for my bed i think that's what i'm gonna do because i have other stuff that matches it and then these two beauties they are one they are two of the three that i splurged and spent 4.99 on these are authentic vintage sheets and look at this pattern no it is not um current and modern this is a vintage bed sheet so, um queen sized bed sheet absolutely stunning and then this one is so beautiful look how pretty that is with the eyelet and this like amazing 70s pattern and coloring love it um the other one I will show you 
probably next. I'll grab it. But, and it said flat sheet, but it was actually fitted. So I was a little disappointed in that. But those two were flat sheets. Okay. Then I got this set and these were actually um, sold separately. They weren't put together. Usually if there is a set, you know, like matching sheets and pillowcases, they put them together. This wasn't. This isn't vintage. Ooh. <clears throat> it is... Yeah, it's not vintage, but it is really cool fabric, a really nice pattern, and the sheet set, or the sheet itself, I'm sorry, this one was only $2.99, I believe, and the pillowcase was $0.50. Cents. Then, let's see, I know, there we go. <clears throat> I got this pillowcase, which is just a white pillowcase, but I wanted this banded trim on it. Plus, um, I was looking and I don't have any just plain white fabric. And I have an idea that I want to do. Anyway, I'm not going to say it until I show you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I just needed some white fabric and I really liked this pattern on the top. So, I went ahead and grabbed it. It was only 50 cents. Then I got two, like, two packs of <laughs> pillowcases. I'm sorry, my dog's trying to come in here. <clears throat> With some super pretty pattern. Very 80s, 90s, but I really like it. And I love the color palette. And the sets of two are 99 cents, so obviously... I got this set of two as well. I love this one. It has the <clears throat> large like bow theme and the floral on it. Super pretty. This is the other one in the set. 99 cents. And then I got this singular pillowcase, which is bomb. How freaking beautiful is this? Is this not going to make an amazing cover? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Anyway, those are definitely fall colors, but they're stunting. Okay, I believe those are all of the regular bedding stuff that I got. Then I got a couple of scarves. Um, this one I did not know was a scarf. It was just wrapped up in the fabric, and I think they're more like hankies possibly linen napkins but they're a little thin for that so i think they're hankies but it's a set of two um exactly the same very 70s maybe 60s very cool then i got this for a different journal that i'm putting together super awesome almost looks like versace 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 but of course I'm about 100% sure that it's not. <laughs> so anyway, and this was actually in the scarf section. It's very big. Very, very big. It's probably... That's a good three... It's about a three foot by three foot square. Three foot by three and a half. So yeah. Lots and lots of fabric. Super silky. Beautimous. <clears throat> okay. Then I got all of these handmade blankets and they're basically, the person had just taken two different fabrics and put them back to back. Um, some of them were like plain, like thin sheet material and some are using the same fabric, some are different, but I just got them for the fabric and I will just um, take them apart at the seams because they are about... Um, four and a half by four and a half feet wide and of course double-sided and it they were only a dollar ninety nine a piece so really good deal this fabric is beautiful I was dying over this one look how pretty this is and it's it's a denim fabric very awesome and this one is also the same on both sides See, you can tell it's handmade. Oh, that's the tag. Probably someone's, you know, grand... I can't... 
they're like kid size blankets, but they're not necessarily kids fabrics. Okay. There's this one that is two like cottony fabrics just back to back. It's very thin. There's no like batting or anything in between. But they're both very pretty. This one, you know, the back side wraps around the front on this one. I don't know why. But the fabric's really pretty. And this almost looks like, like, um, curtain material. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. I liked it. Oh, this one. I love this fabric. And this has red corduroy on the back. Just trying to see. I wondered if some of these were like existing sheets or something and the person had made them into smaller blankets. I don't know. But there is this one. All right, two left. This one is very, very thin. It's got a, um, like a nice, pretty classic blue and white gingham and then a very pretty, how is there hair on this? Anyway, a very pretty, like mint green gingham on the back. And it's just, again, very thin, no batting in between. And the last one is this really, really cool, like lemon fabric with a army green corduroy on the back. So very cool. Okay. So I'm going to show you the next stuff, but okay. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. <clears throat> oh, well. So one more thing I wanted to mention, I've shown you guys this before. Um, it is very, very old. It was from the Michael's Dollar Spot when the Michael's Dollar Spot was actually a dollar. <clears throat> and I think I got it before Pat and I got together, which was seven years ago. If not, like right after. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I told you guys I've been hoarding it because there's and there's not much left. But I love it because it's really wide and it's perfect for using in junk journals. And our lovely... Um, Queen of Corn, dear Miss Copy Copy, also happened to use this exact one. It was a slightly different pattern, but it was the same type of pad from the Michael's Dollar Spot for the first time in a journal um, within the last month. So I thought that was very interesting. I mean, how do you have something for five to seven years? And then how do you explain <laughs> using it for the first time right after someone else does with everything else. Anyway, that is why I'm always hesitant to share things because I don't want them stolen, especially before I can do it, you know? So anyway, here it is. So the first part of it isn't, you know, that crazy. It is just some baby bedding. It is, I don't have black hair. <laughs> My hair is light red brown with blonde in it. Anyway, this is a very, very vintage, very, very cute vintage baby sheet that is going in the wash because it's nasty, clearly. But super cute. This is like the sheet that goes in a baby's crib. And this is going to be perfect in my little um, Peter Rabbit book. There's also this one which is super light and pale. And it's also got some bunnies and polka dots and teddy bears and looks like a hat or something. I don't know what that is. I'm probably looking at it the wrong way. And sheep and just cuteness. So yeah, this is just a bed sheet again, excuse me, for a baby's crib. And then I got some actual vintage baby blankets. And I don't want to tell you what I'm going to do with them yet. Well, one thing I, I think they will also make <laughs> some very fun, like very like worn looking book covers. 
and this one is so pretty and the manager gave them to me for like f between 50 cents and a dollar each so i'm super excited um this is like a blanket or sheet that has been folded into oh wait no 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 this is actually one of the sheets yeah this one is actually one of the sheets super cute look how cute this is I don't actually know how old this one is. It may not be, you know, super old, like the first one I showed you, but it's still really cute, and it's some nice fabric, and it will also work for baby stuff, obviously, a baby-themed thingy thing. Oh, here it is. This is the one that's folded up and sewn, so I'm going to take it apart. Yeah, I'll never be able to figure out the year, but... It is this really, really cool bunny, like, I think it's like a towel, because it's like tear, mm, it's in between like a linen-y canvas and terry cloth, and it's been like folded and sewn like a hot pad, and it was from St. Joseph's Hospital in Denver, Colorado. How it ended up in rural Oklahoma, I don't know. Okay. Only two more baby things, and they are blankies, and this one is just worn to filth. In fact, I think he probably, this is probably one he gave me. Yikes, but <clears throat> I still really like it. It's a little donkey on it, and I, yeah, it's so cute. And there's like little bows or butterflies, or it's sold, you can't even tell what it is. And then this, again, is crazy worn, but crazy old and crazy cool. And yes, it has little, like, baby ducks, I believe is what they are. The yellow ones definitely look like ducks. Well, they all have duck bills with these little swallows flying around in blue and yellow. So, so cute. And that's all the baby stuff. Okay. Um, there's just a few more things I got. <clears throat> I got some ribbon and trim. Um, this is like a super soft satiny ribbon that is like the seam binding in a really pretty burgundy. This massive thick roll so it's $39.99 a bolt. Um, it is I feel like this is the kind you can iron on. I don't know. But it was obviously $1.99 and super cool. Then I got this trim, which is like two in one. But yeah, very awesome, very unique. I love it, darling, I love it. Okay, I didn't get many books. <clears throat> Boy. One is this ledger book, which I was stoked to find. Look at this, 1967. Oh, yes. Amazing. And there is quite a few pages left in it. Love it. Columnar Pads for Ring Binders by Wilson Jones. Whoops. Sorry. Okay, and then I got some books. I got this really cool, like, oops, it's upside down. Like, cowboy Bible, um, which I'm actually going to give to my dad as part of his Father's Day thing. And it is like a Christian-backed thrift store. And the guy was like, oh, um, Bibles are free here. I was like, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> um, anyway, I got this DuckTales. Disney book, which I'm sure isn't that old at all. Um, does it say? Yep, 1989. Still kind of old, as old as me. Um, that is not how much it was. That is not one of their uh, tags, but it sucks that someone was selling it for 10 cents at a garage sale and then they resold it for like a dollar, but whatever. 
but he was going through and if something's damaged the manager usually gives it to me so I may have got that for free any hoozle I wanted to put it with my Disney books because I have another like Donald Duck one and I wanted to make a little set any hoozle okay I also believe I got this one for my dad as well Johnny Cash man in black super cool love it I got these two pretty much for the paper. It's like almost see-through, um, but it's not like dark, dark vintage aged, but still some aging in it. And it's not too crispy to fold. It's nice and thin. Anyway, really cool. I got those two. And the last one is this The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. 15 points. This was probably, um, I, I know when I was in school, sometimes they would do like reading rewards and you could, or just work rewards, you would earn points for little things you did either in class, like helpful or doing your schoolwork or whatever, and you could like buy things with your points. Maybe that's what it was for. But anyway, who's old? This isn't super old, 1988. I guess it's kind of old, but very cool. And that is all the books I got. The last things I got are all um, patterns. I got quite a few. Super, super, super cute ones. These are going to make amazing covers and pages in some junk journals and of course the patterns themselves make awesome collaging and layering pieces it's got a lot of stuff in that one I don't know what that is and this one butamous wedding one this is the last one I got which is overly packed but I liked this lady so Yep. Let me look around. Oh, wait, there is. I knew there was um, some different sheets. Okay, hold on just a sec. Okay, first I will show you the fabric I got. I only got a couple things. I got these two um, little uh, scraps. They were 50 cents each, I believe. But super pretty. Definitely will use them. And then this giant piece that I got for, I believe, $2, because I they I brought it up to the manager, and it was marked $5.99, and I was like, look, sold in the store for only $5.50, and he was like, oh, that's rich. He was like, how about $2.99, or $1.99, $1.99, I was like, all right, I'm good with that, and it had been there since January. He was like, that's probably why it's been here since January. It is a huge stack, and I will probably be divvying this up, so... Very nice fabric, super cute, love the color palette. And that is all the fabric I got. The last things are three sheets. This is the one that is fitted, that was supposed to be a flat sheet, but it's still a super pretty. And it's also, oh wait, this one is a queen. I don't know if I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Again, I may, <clears throat> these right here, I haven't, quite decided if I'm cutting them apart or if I'm keeping them. I also have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vintage one. I think this one is full and that's why I was had it separate in the cut apart pile. Because the queen sheets I wanted to keep for my bed. I don't know, maybe the packaging said full, but <clears throat> super, super pretty vintage sheet and last one I am in love with look at this look at it look at it look at it <clears throat> let's see if it's usually um there's a if there's a tag it's going to be on one of the corners okay yeah this one says 81 by 104 I think is that a queen? Let me check. Yeah, it's also a queen. So, 
those are the undecided if I'm going to be keeping those for my bed or cutting them. Um, there was one that was $3.99 and one that was $2.99. And then the uh, fitted one, which I thought was a flat sheet, was $4.99. So that is what I was talking about <laughs> before when I had said I went a little crazy and was shopping for a bit. So yeah, there isn't going to be a bunch of big hauls coming up. Oh, also my AliExpress order. I think I have four or five things left that haven't come yet that are, you know, just like I've ordered before, single small items. So, and my fabric, that will be the next haul. Um, I went ahead and went over with the fabric, the Eileen's fabric glue on our large junk journal and it's working it's working I keep rotating it on each side to make sure that it's really stuck good it's drying fully that way and yes I cannot wait to show you guys I want to put like a trim along it anyway it's gonna be fun so I hope you all liked this video and liked what I got in my haul it was a bit much but I beyond splurged and I'm going to be a good girl. I'm going to be selling some of the books and um, I'm sure, especially some of the larger fabrics, um, pieces of fabric and things that I've got, like the sheets or this tapestry, tapestry, etc. I um, will probably be um, selling some samples of it. Maybe even exactly 10 by 10 inches. No, I'm kidding. But yeah. So I hope you all liked the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.